Oh shit, I'm fucked. Uh, nobody's in here. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure there is people in here. Nah, nah, the, you're just speaking to a possession. There's no one in there. No one at all. So we have no hostages. Ah, uh, no, there's, there would not be a hostage. Uh, well, if we've got no hostages, now we're gonna have to break through and come out with the Please do not. Please get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Oh, oh that was viral. Fuck. I'm sorry, mate. Yeah. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Ah, well, look. As per usual, it appears we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Welcome back to Diablo RP with Victor Vaughn. Last time, Victor got sent to Sissica for grave robbing charges and met a cow homie while he contemplated an escape. Unfortunately, there is no escaping prison. That was a falsified cliffhanger. He simply served a sentence and then tried to go rob graves again. I mean, I kind of understand why the fuck he even took my shovel. Fuck. Oh, you're yeah, fucking me. Of course, having his beacon of an outfit identified twice was bad news, so he headed on over to Armadillo for a haircut and Tumbleweed to change into some new clothing. On the way back from Tumbleweed, Victor heard some gunshots firing off and approached it to find it was John Black, the guy that gave Victor the black market deal in their Annisburg. He was chilling with some of his associates, however, Victor's memory of the event is a little bit muddled, so I'm just going to give you the important info myself. Essentially, they discussed the stagecoach papers that Victor had previously acquired in the general store robberies, because they had been getting them too. Not only that, but they had actually done one. They informed Victor that in their experience, there was two armored carts armed with two Gatling guns and a lot of lawmen locals to protect it. Additionally, they say that they believe the moment sheriffs get notified of the crime is when you blow it open with a magical dynamite charge you pull out of your ass. However, the time consuming part is pulling the loot out, so you're left vulnerable for an extended period of time. Of course, the moment they leave, Victor reads one of the papers and initiates the robbery. The papers show a wagon that is stopped in a location up near Strawberry next to a lake in Owangila, so Victor heads there. That looks like it's not moving. Oh god, the ice here. get on this ASAP by fuck. Alright, and there again, no one's approached you. Now run. This way, into the forest. There's a tank of strawberry. Dump the HTC coins over the fucker up there. We don't want to attract attention to ourselves, so let's take the mask off.
Wait, are they after me, bro? Oh my god, dude, that was so morbid, wasn't it? I'm not wearing a mask either, so fuck. To be honest, even now I can't really tell if they're a lawman. My best theory is that it was two of the boys Victor spoke to in Armadillo being chased by some lawman. Anyway, with the robbery successful, Victor went to sell the goods to the black market dealer near Annisburg, getting $6.70 per gold bouillon, remember that number, and $40.80 per marked bill, leaving him with $142 from the stagecoach, as well as this odd coin which has Latin or Spanish or some shit on it. Anyway, on the way back to Armadillo, Victor receives a letter from Shane Stone. That guy who offered the lockpick and dynamite vendor for $250 in part 1. He just says he's busy right now, but down to do the deal later. Upon stashing the HT coin in Armadillo, Victor meets John Watson, and they run into John Black, which uncovers an interesting situation. What's your name? John Watson. Hey, I'm uh, Victor. Victor? Victor Vaughn. Victor Vaughn, okay. Hey, partner. Yo, Victor, is that yo, you? How's it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, mate, I, good. I uh, ended up hitting a, that stagecoach, uh, and it was uh, up the same place you said. Two Gatling oh, guns, Lawman, and yeah, I got three marked bills, three gold bouillon. It was alright. I'm surprised the gold bouillon sells for so little compared to the marked bills. Yeah, it's fucked. Oh, I got an HD coin as well. Nice. HD coin, don't know what it means, don't know where it goes, but it is something special. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely some use for it. Yeah. Um, uh, I also had a, I had a thought. Um, well, actually, one. On what the fuck are the lawmen doing if they get alerts when you're grave robbing? Because I spent like the first two nights that I was here grave robbing San Denis, like in the middle of town. Yeah. Uh, and also, number two is we could very easily just grave rob in Mexico. Seems uh, yeah. pretty like there, there's no issues doing that, right? Correct, as far as I know. I mean, I think the Mexican government gets alerted if they're in, like the Mexican right, army. Right. You don't really want to fuck with them, because I've heard they'll rob you, then throw you in jail, because they're fucking ah. dodgy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. That's what I've heard, so I don't know if that's real or not. Okay, I've never okay. met them. The only time I've seen them, they were riding from a sort of thieves landing towards Blackwater, and I was riding from Blackwater towards here, and oh, they all yeah. had their guns out, and there was like five of them. Yeah, um, I, will, yeah. I will warn you, there's a, there's a group. If you look open your map, there's a group to watch out for that's living in New Austin. Oh yeah? Is it the natives I've heard about? Or? Nah, natives are good. I've been talking to them. Oh, don't oh, worry. Yeah. They've, it looks like they've sold their house. See the house that was for sale down near Rio del Lobo Rock? Oh, near Lake yeah. Don Julio? Oh, so shit, yeah. They lived in that house. There was three or four of them, and they've been going around robbing people. But they owned that house yesterday because I went there and fucking shot them up and uh, robbed them. Two, two of them told them to pull their heads in. And, um, who's that? Oh, yeah, I, no, I've met him before. He was in the, the bank. Oh, I'll see who he is. If you, uh, you're living in the free land, yeah. Armadillo, land of the free, baby. You should get a mask. Yeah. You gotta watch out for the smallpox, man. Yeah, it's pretty vicious. It's fucking nasty shit. Yeah, I don't have a mask at the moment. You used to live in that house down by the river, no? River? Did you? Did you live in a house down by the river? You um, look familiar. I'm John, what? anyway. What's your name? My name's John Weston. Oh, nice to meet your partner. You live here, or...? Oh, uh, I did. I just I just sold my place. Oh, nice. Um, the one down by the river, eh? Which lake? River? Let me have a look. Near Don Julio. Don Julio. Lake. The lake. Is it the lake? Near the lake there somewhere? Yeah, I see uh, that. Yeah. Right next to the Rio de Lobo Rock. Yeah. Yeah, my friend, my friend, I uh, was gonna buy it, but then I just sold, sold it. Yeah, on. fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you sure fellas man. split up or something? Oh, yeah. I think I met one of you fellas today. He's riding around with a fella um, who I know well. I seen him earlier, though, riding up towards the Blackwater, I think. Oh, he yeah. said he left you guys or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, like, trying to not, like, get too much, like, heat, you know? What, from yesterday? Oh, from whatever, whatever yep. went down and shit. Yep, yep, yep. That's fair enough. Anyway, man, welcome to Armadillo, land of the free. If you see any lawmen, fucking shoot them, because yeah. you know, we're up there. The three of us kept chatting for another 20 or so minutes, but I'm gonna skip to when John Black gives a little more context to the aforementioned events that happened yesterday they were talking about. Take this horse for a ride, see what you think. It's nearly fully trained, not quite yet. Yeah, I'll just give it a bit of a run. Yeah, man, go for a fucking spin out there in the sticks. It's not a bad horse for the price anyway, I think. Fuck. Yeah, that's, uh, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, bro, that, yesterday they fucking... It was pretty wild what happened, but anyway. That's behind us, right, move on. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of rule breaks, but you know, shit happens. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, sorry. I could, I could tell from the conversation. Could not tell exactly what the fuck happened, but yeah. Yeah, well, like we went to rob them, and they full just broke multiple county laws. I actually spoke to John more recently about this situation, and instead of letting him describe it here, I'm just gonna present the footage he showed me. 
Oh, this is the fucking clip. Yeah. So I don't know if I have the whole thing. This can't. He put all his stuff in the house. That's why I shot him. Yeah. Yeah. He, like he had like a roll. He had a Winchester and all this shit on him. Yeah. And if you uh, you boys want to come find me, you want my name, so you can come find me after this. Come on, surely. Come on, you want it? I know you do. You want it or not? Sure. John. Everyone's running Winchesters and shit back. John Black. Mm. Was that a combat log? Yeah. He just DC'd. First guy. You see the guy who was dead just yeah. left? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Stripping boys. Beautiful rifles you got there, boys. Teach you ever go to Blackwater again, wouldn't it? Oh, really? Yeah. He just rigged so the his guy. Out. Yeah, yeah. It just stabs me. <laughs> Look at this. What? What and then the, the other guy. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I didn't stand there. <laughs> I was like, you hear me laughing at it before. Yeah, yeah. Teach you ever go to Blackwater again, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> my, that's my friend saying that. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's wild, dude. And the other guy ran out, like, did the same shit to my other friend, like... That's fucking um, funny, holy shit. Yeah, bro. Oh, fuck you. A laugh wasn't the only thing gained from the interaction with the Johns, because John Black ended up bestowing more handy info upon Victor. Were you talking about cannabis? You boys need something? Is that what you're uh, after? Well, I was looking to see what's the, the process of uh, acquisition, especially in like, the seeds department. Well, if you want, open up your map. You can listen. Uh, you probably want this spot too, John. Oh, okay. Yeah, have you guys crossed the bridge down San Louis River? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. So if you cross, cross that. that tiny little bridge, turn right, follow the coastline all the way around, to go around like the edge of the sort of mountain thing you'll see some boats when you see the boats right down to the very end there's a fella on the beach standing there are you saying all the way down there like the nasa leader yeah yeah down oh, yeah, there. yeah yeah okay right, the bridge right. turn right follow Fuck. the coast all the way around until i was it. so fucking close to finding out my own my <laughs> fucking god dude i'm so tilted but that's yeah, not i was the same trust me when you when you see it you will go you fucking bastard i fucking like you go around this corner it looks like there's nothing there all of a sudden yeah like a beachfront's there wait, bang so oh man, god dude wait. I'm always, I'm always the boat. Mexican drug seed dealer found, Victor conveniently gets a letter from Shane Stone, which means his next objective is the black market lockpick and dynamite dealer. However, crossing back over the border didn't exactly go to plan, nor to getting to Valentine. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. No shot, that guy just rode off with my horse.
Oi! Who's this? Put your hands, hands up. up. Hands up right now, Mr. Officer Hall. Who's this? Yeah, Officer Hall. What's your name? Victor. My name is Victor. No, he's not yeah. one of them. He's not yeah, one of them. What are you doing? The Roomstone family. That's my brother's horse here. I have here. no idea who that is. Is that okay? Can it's you all leave? good. Yeah, he's all good. Let him go. Sorry, sir. That's uh, alright. You know I don't wear masking down, mate. I mean, it's for your help. I'm from Armadillo. I could be sick with uh, smallpox. The only thing oh, I'd take from you is your clothes. Can't, can't, you've already got baby. <laughs> I know, right, go I'm there. pretty smooth. Let's go. Let's go to the. Let's go to the hotel and do some haba haba. Oh, oh my <laughs> beautiful. Stop that that to be are you Shane by chance? Oh, okay. Yes, no, he is. You can't see yes, Shane. Yes, why is that? Uh, I'm Victor. I'm here about the. Oh, hey, oh, Victor. Hunter, tell me, do you want to say something cool? All right, let's go over chat. Sorry, I'll speed up a bit. <laughs> that's alright. I just prefer not to walk too so fast. Makes makes me look more yeah. intimidating. Yeah, no, that does. That's definitely true. Uh, By the way, yeah. you might want to be careful in so, town yeah. because the Colt brothers just came. I uh, shot up through town because of me. Oh yeah. What were you wanting to inquire about? Are you selling one lock pick for two fifty? No, I'm selling the location to buy oh, them for the two fifty. Uh, you want to head to the bank then? Yes, I do. All right. Welcome to Valentine Bank, lads. How can I help you? Dilly Dusty. Yeah, it's my new job. All right. I welcome everyone in. You just kick this fella out behind you. Ah, uh, no, he's alright. He's my magic, my favorite number is uh, 95. Yeah, let, let's just head outside. Yeah. Uh, okay, Dusty. Thank you very much. So, if you go into your map, right? Okay, I'll contact you again if I have any difficulties. All right, good luck, partner. Yeah, uh, good luck to you too. Said he was. He was like, I need to remember where it is. All right, let's see where he takes us. I um, did not discover that. You didn't. No, no. All right. Well, um, I might go for a ride with you. All right. Vince. Yes. I'm gonna go for a ride with uh, this gentleman here because I've sold him a location. Oh, that sounds all good. You go, go right ahead. Yeah. Have you seen a Tennessee Walker with a pink saddle anywhere? Not why he's been taken. Yeah. I, uh, I was trying to cross the border. <laughs> oh, I'm on. I heard you wanted to do like gunsmithing. I did want to do gunsmithing, was it? Oh, well, because Armadillo seems to be propping back up with a decent amount of activity. I think there may be competition, which is why I didn't bring it up earlier, because I heard that one of the presidents uh, is working on getting a gunsmith up. Oh, yeah, the president of uh, uh Oh, why can't I get up? Come on, go, go, horse, go. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're going to have to go this way. We made it. We didn't die. Yeah, yeah, easy. I was looking at um, Ansberg, but uh, we're from the Cole Brothers, and they usually, they live up there, so right, right. not the best of ideas. Yeah, yeah. I ran into some people before, some family starting with R. Was it uh, Brimstone? Yeah, Brimstone. They were looking for Brimstone family. Like, oh, right. Like some of that. Oh, yeah. But were they wearing red? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, Cole Brothers. Yeah, I mean, they didn't rob me, so that's good. That's good. They robbed me twice. I just told three of my guns somewhere around here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Precarious. Christ. Yeah, we have to do some advanced navigation to get this horse out of here. Yeah, not, not the best rider. Oh shit, oh fuck. Is the horse alright? Um, oh no, fuck. No, is he not dead? I think this is a better <laughs> position than the last one at least. <laughs> yeah, we can ride down now. Well, I'm gonna shoot them. If they, if they come after us. Oh wait, I think this might be it. Oh. Oh 
Oh, oh Jesus fuck. The bridge. I realized I went past it. Hey, partner, I, I got to go on my head. So, uh, would you just want to look around this area? I'll, I'll, I'll try not to be too long. So, um, it's by the two arrows, I'm pretty sure, on the train tracks. Oh, yeah, like the, the, the Tara Springs one, yeah. Sorry, no, I've been, I've been looking at the wrong one. Apparently, it's up by Roanoke Valley. I'm just trying to find it. I've given you the complete wrong spot. <laughs> right -o. Yep, so yeah. it's up by Roanoke Valley. It's all by Annisburg. Oh, as in the train tracks around there. Yes, the arrows and the train tracks around there. Sorry, my mate gave me the wrong location. Right, -o. oh, yeah, well, I'll hit that now, I guess. Yep. I mean, you can just ride along the train tracks if you want. It'll yeah. be quicker. Yeah, yeah. I just need to get to them first. You want me to ride? Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Close. The wild goose chase, bro. The dynamite and lock picks. If he actually gives me this, this is fucking wild. And I, it is worth two picks. I'm trying to get my lantern out, can't see a thing. Yeah, shit, I, I was so confused. I came out the map and I was like, I'm blind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get a grasp of where I am right now. That's alright. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are. Gotta get down there somehow. Oh, wait, never mind, we gotta go up. Oh, okay. Uh, pleasure doing business with you. This is very nice. After a 20 minute ride with Shane, the most directly challenged tour guide I've ever seen in my life, Victor has nearly completed this exodia of black market traders, and I'm sure absolutely nothing that happens in part 3 will change that fact. Hit the like and subscribe button to see that. Looking to take advantage of the most recent vendor he acquired the location of, Victor heads to the Armadillo to get money, and on the way back, helps a local to get to Valentine's, since it's already on the way back to the vendor. Why is there a kill Fuck, the kill count almost murdered me just then. Who the fuck is this? Some random bull. Is he like gonna get off? Story. Well, I'm talking about the local on my it's fucking so horse. Maybe <laughs> hey, that's his horse. Well, I, I don't think so. I picked them up on the side of the road oh. being held hostage. Uh, yeah, you you the mask your... up? yeah, that's fine. Thank you for your cooperation. When he gets there, Victor buys 15 lockpicks and one dynamite, and then transports the aforementioned goods back to Armadillo, where he decides, hey, why not do a robbery with these freshly acquired lockpicks? Oh wow, it's the same riding gimmick that was in part one that's definitely not getting it all old now. Uh, nobody's in here. Nah, nah, you're just speaking to a possession. There's no one in there. No one at all. They have no hostages. Ah, no, there's, there would not be a hostage. Uh, well, if you got no hostages, now you're gonna have to go kill them for real. Please do not. Please get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Let's get this man a doctor. Uh, 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 that was good. Man, try to rub him without any hostages. Crossfeet, tumbleweed, my friend. <laughs> Put him down. Let's do some. Uh, let's make sure he's not bleeding profusely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you check him? Yeah, I'll do it. Alrighty, I'm just gonna apply some pressure here till the bleeding stops, alright? Oh all right? shit, God. Yeah, It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Fuck, oh fuck, this Alrighty, is should not we, my um, day. Get into, should we get into Blackwater and then call a doctor or call a doctor here, Brian? Call a doctor here, we'll take him to the department. Oh. Well, we still right, got right, headlock bits. So let's uh, pour some uh, whiskey on this, this is gonna hurt quite a bit, alright? Oh fuck. Alright, pouring it on now. Oh shit, what the oh, no, nah, uh, I don't think my body's supposed right. to feel that. Alrighty, I'm gonna stop there, alright? Would you like a sip of the, the whiskey to help distress yes, yourself? Please, yes, I'm please. just gonna hold your head up here. Alright, nice and easy. Thank you. There oh, we go. Shit, that shit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay. Uh, that is some strong shit. Yeah, we've gotta have the good stuff for the wounds, alright? Alright, let's go put a little bit of cocaine paste on this uh, big wound here on your oh, shoulder. Fuck. Oh no, not the paste. Alright, uh, this is gonna feel quite painful at first, but you're gonna be loving it in about five minutes. Oh great, uh, straight of the blood straws, bloodstream. Alrighty, I'm gonna pick you up, alright? We're gonna take you off the street, we're away from all the dust. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of my mouth. Alright. 
Oh, easy does it. Oh, fuck. Alrighty, just real quick. I'm just gonna remove your mask real quick. You look kind of familiar. Oh, I don't know what, in what regard. I feel like I've seen you around a little bit. Were you in Valentine earlier? And you uh, very kindly took your mask off for us? Oh, uh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, we'll just uh, wait patiently for a couple minutes. If the doctor doesn't arrive, we'll have to go the long journey to Blackwater. Alright, in the meantime, while you wait for the doctor, I might get our new recruit to come make some conversation with you for a minute while I do some paperwork. Some conversation? Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's it. Uh, how's it? What kind of conversation would you prefer? Can you do like a choose your own adventure, like a pick a path book? Okay, uh, what's your name? My name's Victor. Alright, uh, you went to a room. A green chair, an orange chair, and a red chair. Okay, I snapped the leg off the yellow... Was there a yellow chair? <laughs> no, there was no yellow chair. Fuck, I've, I've lost already. Uh, Can't lose, man, it's all adventure. True. Okay, well, we, we make a yellow chair by combining chairs. Okay, door opens to your left-hand side. The shutters close. The door also opens in the roof to the right-hand side of you. Which which way do you take? I want to go to the roof. Or you crawl the through the small space, huffing and puffing through the clear out of dust and you see a man humpled in the corner he has a long beak like a, like a bird behind oh, him shit. behind him sits a six foot spider no, the man wait. hasn't noticed you yet do you attack him without him seeing or do you run away in terror uh, I did a water with the spider bro what the fuck the spider's gonna fuck him up that He's the spider's with him. Oh, shit. They seem in cahoots. That's that's unfortunate. That, that's very bad for me. It could be a wizard of some sort. You ever seen a wizard? Oh, what? Damn. I thought you were describing some sort of plague doctor from the, the England, but... Oh, maybe. Um, yeah, can he, he might be able to tame spiders. He can tame spiders. Shit. Spider tame and plague doctor. That is actually fucking terrifying. Yeah, no, I, exactly. I, uh, I want to get the fuck out of there. I want to try to... Okay, run. you run. You trip back down the trap door and you break your neck in a uh, home fashion. Oh, oh shit, this is terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, wrong move. Yeah, <laughs> you should have taken the spider head on, man. Maybe, maybe. You, you would have noticed you had a gun in your pocket. Well, true, true. I didn't know, I didn't even notice I had a gun in didn't my pocket. You, you didn't know you had an inventory, no. I should have just checked my own pockets. I'm so foolish. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. God. You did that to yourself, man. Eh? Yeah, I really did, yeah. Do you want me to put you on the bed? No, I'm more uh, comfortable. Oh, yeah, I mean, it would be appreciated. Well, actually, perfect. Yeah, that, that actually, is quite nice place. Actually, so what was your what was your full name? That would be Victor Vaughn. There's there's no no reason okay? for me to hide. I have an ID on me. <laughs> is that not part of Criminal One Hundred and One? Don't do illegal activity with an ID in your pocket. Probably. Yeah. I Man, I just carry one at all times. I'm proud of my what I do. No, that's good. That's good. You want to know why that's good? For us. Uh, for your your purposes, obviously. Yeah. No, it's uh, it just means you're following the law. You need to carry an ID with you at all times. Oh yeah, I mean, it also does help with talking out of situations. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I was starting to like this look though. I'm gonna have to change it again. Are you saying that you want to commit more illegal activity, sir? No, no, I would just wouldn't want to be associated to such the such horrendous acts that I just committed. You know. Uh, you should change your ways. Take a take a long hard look at yourself. Yeah. Probably. Alrighty, let's carry him out. I'll hit the old dusty trail, sir. Holy, relax. Oh, whoa, hell. I don't know how I've robbed that store so many times. I guess just tumbleweed cops are not normally on. Funny business, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. No Yahoo, alright? I'll pull him down. <laughs> Criminal. Yeah, I'll grab your hat for you. Hat's not that one. We need to get him in. Whoops. Ow. Oh. Alright, we're good to the department. Alright, he left the door for us. 
Oh. Ah, shit. Holy. I'm just gonna have to hold you for a second. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, I'm just gonna remove your gun belt, alright? Yeah. There we go. Oh, your mask is accidentally falling back over your face. Oh, yeah, there you no, go. No, 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 no. So, what happens when you go to the doctor? The doctor put it back on, don't worry. Oh, yeah. One trip on your face, I'm gonna pop you on some cuffs, alright? Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna put your. I'm just gonna put your. Alright, you can lower, you don't have to point it at him now. I'm just gonna put your hat back on your head for you, alright? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to give you a quick pat down, okay? Just uh, nice and easy from your shoulders down to your ankles. Just a lot of it. I never actually know what's in my pockets. Oh, a little bit of a farmer, are we? To some degree. Alright, the only thing yeah. I can see here that uh, we have a problem with is the lockpicks, mate. Alright, so oh. we'll have to take those. Right, right. But everything else is all yours. Uh, let's get you to show me your ID. It is me. Alrighty, I'm just gonna quickly jot down that name. It's been jotted down before. Thank you for that one. I just wanted to get the spelling right on your last name. Could you turn around for me? Alright, I'm just gonna take a quick little photo of your, your beautiful face there, mate. Right, oh. Moustache and everything. Okay, so you didn't actually I, I, flee or anything, so you did, nah, nah. you're not gonna get a charge like that or anything. I'm just gonna quickly uh, go through the charges real quick. Just bear with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the part where I need to argue. Because I, I didn't actually hit anyone, so if they say I shot at them, I'm just gonna say I didn't shoot them. <laughs> Some warning shots. Alrighty, so the only things on your charges for today, mate, will be armed robbery, because you did, you were armed and you were robbing a store, mm -hmm. right? I suppose um, that's true. <laughs> and uh, when we said that we were gonna breach, you did say something along the lines of, I wouldn't do that, and you attempted to, then you shot at us, so that was well, a... Well, I, I don't know about shot, I didn't hit anything. <laughs> I was, <laughs> it was warning shots, clearly. Warning shots? Okay, mm. alright, so I'll... You know what, I'm gonna leave it at just armed robbery for today, alright? Because you have been very compliant and very polite to us, okay? Alright, thank you. So with the armed robbery, that is a minor felony, alright? So it's just community service or hard oh, yeah. labor. You can take a pick if you want. Oh, hard labor is where you go and um, you help fix the train line. Community service is where you go and sweep the uh, the community and stuff. I'll just do the community service then. Community? Alrighty. Alright, so today's only gonna be a $30 fine and 10 okay. community actions. Alright, did you get that one? Yeah. See you later. Peace.